everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm going to give it just a second um, to make sure I just blasted social media with a little screenshot. Like, I'm going live now. Tune in. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, oh, my keyboard. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So, Welcome to Trump on This with Kim Lai. Let me know, you guys, if you can hear me and see me. I've been playing around with um, with the different, uh, how do you say, you know, the color and text. Oh, yay! Awesome! Woo -hoo! Um, so I've been playing around with the different color um, in intensity and the, <laughs> what do you call it, the brightness and the contrast and stuff like that. And I seriously, it's going to get to a point, you guys, where I'm going to make myself look like an anime character. Like, I keep getting brighter. It's weird. Okay. So, you guys are there. Hi, Randy. <laughs> oh, this is one of your favorite dishes. It's bun cell. Uh, Vietnamese cuisine, you guys. Um, this has been so much fun. Um showing you guys how to do some Vietnamese recipes. I mean, obviously we're doing other recipes as well, but the Vietnamese ones are like totally like near and dear to my heart because I'm half Vietnamese and I grew up uh, with a Vietnamese mom. Good morning, Lisa. <laughs> Yay. Um, so today I want to show you guys how to make bun so, which basically translates to like a sizzling pancake or a crepe. Okay, so it's like a French crepe or it looks like an omelet. I'm going to show you guys a picture. Are you guys there? I don't know what just happened. Glitch. Just a glitch in the system. Um, let me try <laughs> Let me try this one more time. I want to show you guys a picture of the bun cell. But, oh, there we go. Um, that is, you guys, what we're going to end up with today. Now, I know it looks like an omelet, but believe it or not, there's no eggs in it. <laughs> it's yellow because of the turmeric powder. So, let's go ahead and get started. And it's so good because I made some last night and like, gone. It's just, it was just gone. I could not stop eating it. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started with, I wanna show you guys, this is the packet. This is called bun step. okay? So see this, you look at that. There's a little um, shrimp on it. it. Looks like little crepes right here. And then inside, is this turmeric packet. Now all that's in here is turmeric, okay? So what's in the bag is wheat flour and white, oh no, wheat flour and rice flour and this turmeric bag. So you know when you guys go to the grocery store and you're getting less and sometimes there's lettuce in a bag and then sometimes there's all like a, a, a Caesar mix in a bag or chef salad in a bag and everything is in that bag, the lettuce, the dressing, the croutons, the sunflower seeds, that's what this is. It's like bun cell in a bag. So a lot of people don't just have wheat flour and white uh, rice flour and turmeric powder just sitting around the house. So it can be easier to just buy the bag. So I wanna show you guys this. So when you go to the Asian market, it doesn't like scare you away. You know what I mean? Because sometimes our bags are not, um, well, not very Western friendly because like you don't know what this is on the outside of it with the eyeballs and the big shrimp. You know what I mean? Okay. So, wow. I feel like I just talked for like 30 minutes. Okay. Look at you guys. Aren't these the most adorable cups? I went on a trip with Chambord and they had us drinking, um, well, we were drinking alcohol, clearly. Well, not clearly, but with Chambord. But um, these are great for summer. They're glass. I think they got them. Mm, I don't know where they got them, but this is filled with water. <laughs> All right. Mixing bowl. <laughs> now, let me tell you, this bag, I used half of this mixture last night, and it made six cups. Okay, so this whole bag is going to make 12 cups. So split it in half because 12 cups, is it, it's way too much. Like, I could have fed... 12 people last night, we just had the bag. All right, we turn it all the way. Oh, it's open. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that little bag makes 12, yes, because we're adding 
coconut, we're gonna add a can of coconut milk and we're also gonna add water, okay? So, it's just, look, it's just flour, rice flour and wheat flour. The wheat flour is what's gonna make it, um, give it that crunchy edge, edge, around the edge, it's not like, ooh, it's edgy. Okay, so I'm dumping this in, this is about 12 ounces, okay, one and a half cups, and then, I'm going to take their turmeric packet. I'm only going to use half because remember I'm using half the bag so everything else is half as well. If you're going to use the full bag, you're going to use the full packet and two cups of coconut milk and six cups of water. But because I'm cutting everything in half, what I'm making today is half the bag. See this yellow? It's from the turmeric powder. I like it to be really yellow. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna just throw it all in. Maybe not. All right. Yo, mm -hmm. I'm in a very confined cold space. Okay, so now we're gonna also put in um, three cups of water to this mix. Okay, so like, I just, yes, Lisa, it does help with inflammation. And it's, you guys, it's part of the ginger family. That's why I always add, okay, I literally added another teaspoon last night with half of the packet. So um, it is part of the ginger family and it's in a lot of Asian dishes and it can be um, a great substitute for um, saffron, okay? Now it's pretty pungent and it's it's a bitter flavor, but you guys, it's, it's it, the color is so, like the pigment is such a beautiful yellow mustard color that it's used in dyes. So that's, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a really, really vibrant color. And you'll see it a lot of times in um, Indian curries. You know, that yellow flavor. Okay, I gotta tell you guys something funny. So I was checking out, <laughs> I'm not gonna say any names, but you guys, I was at an event one time and this guy was catering and he's like, oh, I don't think he knew I was Vietnamese. One can of coconut milk. I don't think he knew I was Vietnamese. And he said, oh, we're serving this amazing, Vietnamese omelet, and I'm like, oh, you're talking about bun sao, and he said, yeah, and he goes, we use these eggs, and I'm like, well, it's not bun sao, and he was like, it's bun sao, and I'm like, there's no eggs in bun sao, and it's like, he had no idea that it was made with turmeric powder, and then another lady I ran into was making bun sao, and again, she didn't know there was turmeric powder in it either, and so she was substituting curry powder, so it's like, oh, you guys, it, like, you have to make it authentic. You can't think that just because this looks like an omelet doesn't mean it's actually an omelet. You know what I mean? So I thought it was funny, but it was not Vietnamese cooking. Okay. So you're just going to mix this together. So the first thing we've done, you guys, is make the batter. <laughs> what is this batter? Oh, Randy, I think Randy just posted a link, you guys, in the chat hole about, is that turmeric? I can't even see, it just has like a square of yellow, uh, orange, yellow color. Yes, okay, so Randy, you guys, just posted a link that has the health benefits of turmeric from Huffington Post. Go Huffo, go Huffo. I don't know if you guys know this, I'm also a contributing writer for Huffington Post, so I am all down with the Huffo. Okay, uh, so <laughs> Okay, you guys, I literally feel like I probably, I could have drank two bottles of wine this morning, but this is like nothing. Woo! Okay, so here's your batter. We're going to set this aside, okay, because the next thing you want to do is get your vegetable plate ready and get the plate ready for the, um, the items that you're going to saute, okay? So what I needed, what I used here was, oh, and I need to chop up some green onions for this. But this was white, I keep saying white flour because it's white in color. Rice flour wheat flour and turmeric, water, <laughs> and coconut milk. Okay, so let's get the vegetable plate ready. So we're gonna get two plates, okay, you guys? We have the vegetable plate and the saute plate. Once we get the plates together, it's like an assembly line, all right? So the vegetable plate, we're gonna have bean sprouts. <laughs> Vegetables are always so pretty to plate. They look so pretty. So we have bean sprouts, and then we have some lettuce. 
I like to use just green lettuce or iceberg lettuce because we're dealing with a lot of flavors here. You can use mustard greens too, you guys, mustard greens. So any kind of lettuce that you like, actually. I prefer to stick with either iceberg lettuce and uh, green leaf lettuce. If I had mustard greens, I would use that type as well, too. Okay, we got that. Now I need cucumbers. So right now we're assembling vegetable tray, plate, vegetable plate. I got my cucumbers, so we're gonna slice these up. These are just little Persian cucumbers. I like these because they're small. Do you see those? Which I know totally contradicts a few episodes ago when I said I like the cucumbers so big. But for this, I like them so <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, can you get mustard greens at most markets? You know what, Randy? Most of, every time I get mustard greens, I'm always at an Asian market. So Ranch 99 I know has them. It wouldn't surprise me if, like, Ralph's Produce Store, the, you know, the fancy Ralph's, um, if they had uh, mustard greens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to also, you guys, I need some green onions, and this is going to be, I'm going to put this in the batter, okay? But what's next? Cilantro. We use a lot of vegetables with um, Vietnamese cooking. Like even in our soups, it's like they're loaded up with vegetables, all different kinds. <laughs> you don't love cilantro, Randy. You hate cilantro. Okay, so see this beautiful, <laughs> see this beautiful cucumbers, um, bean sprouts. We have cilantro and we have some green leaf lettuce, and then here's some mint. Okay, I went out and picked this this morning, and look at it. this is how warm it is here in California. It's already. I literally picked this two hours ago and it's already wilting. It's supposed to be really hot today, you guys. Okay, so then we have mint as well. All right, so that's our veggie our veggie platter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my pan. And I'm gonna add a little canola oil. I was doing this with um, olive oil, you guys, but it seemed like it was just a little too, it was too oily and it wasn't allowing my crepes, my sizzling crepe cakes to set up. So I started using the canola oil. Okay. And it seemed to work. So now for my saute. I was like, where's my stuff? I really think I could use a much bigger island, you guys. How can you use a pan and not a wok? Because a wok, Randy, is gonna go like this, and I need something that goes like this, <laughs> because I'm making like a crepe. So if you put this in a wok, all the liquid is gonna go to the bottom, and I'm gonna get just all this little liquid in this bowl. You know what I mean? Yeah, there you go. I wanna let you guys know too, everyone always asks me, did you wash your vegetables? Everything has been washed before the show. <laughs> okay, we. Uh, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna chop up some green onions. Now the green onions, you guys, it's gonna go into the batter. Okay, so just get a sharp knife, and I'm just cutting, dicing, slicing up some green onions, and they, they don't have to be sliced really small. This is a oh, look. Can you see? Oh, let's put it up against my black shirt. This is the size. That's what I'm going for with the green onion. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it straight into oh, that mixture. See, now look at this. You guys, we're already at, we're at five cups, and that was half the bag. I did use, I eliminated one cup of about, well, no, half a cup of water because I felt like the mix was a little too runny last night, too. So, again, if you could play around with it. The green onion definitely adds a little bit of texture to the pancake. And, you know, Lisa and I were at the, the Asian market a few weeks ago, and they had these, I forgot what they're called. No, wait, hold on, I'm gonna find it. Hold on, hold on. There are these things like this. Oh, look. It's called green onion pancake. This has nothing to do with today's show, by the way, but 
when I'm adding the green onion to this batter, it reminded me of these pancakes. You guys, these, this the whole thing, there's like six pancakes in here, and it was two for a buck, and all you do, you literally take these out, put them in a skillet, fry them up, they're delicious. Like Lisa and I both went, oh, had no idea. So we were just trying it, delicious. And they're called green onion pancakes. <laughs> okay, so we're just putting that in. Going to give our batter a little stir. Now again, this is the batter that's going to make, um, going to be the base of our crepes. And we're going to let that sit a little bit longer. Okay, so we have our vegetable tray ready to go. Plate. I don't know why I keep calling it a tray, a plate. Um, now, for what we're going to saute. What we're sauteing is what's going inside the crepe. So I'm going to use garlic. I'm going to use a shallot and I'm gonna use shrimp, all right? So let's get this cut up. Mm, maybe six garlic cloves, because I love garlic a lot. I love fragrant foods. It's so yummy, right? All right, remember, you guys give it a little whack like that, and it's gonna release the very thin paper you know i don't know i wish i don't even know why that's not edible you know how like on little asian candies they put the rice paper so you open up the wrapper and then you can eat the whole thing and the rice paper on the outside like don't you think like this little piece should be edible like, i don't understand why it's not edible anyways mm. I, just, I love it the smell is just oh. I think every single episode, I'm using garlic, and I'm like, oh, I just love all the smell of garlic. <laughs> okay, how's everybody doing? <laughs> I feel like I'm just like, I don't know. I'm a little confused this morning, and I did have quite a bit of coffee, which usually coffee kind of calms me down a bit. Ugh. However, I don't know what's going on today. Mm -mm -mm. Garlic. Yeah, maybe I should have just stuck with, you know, three cloves. <laughs> okay, let's just be done with the garlic. Ugh. That's a lot of garlic. Okay. Now, oh, I feel my, my hand getting warm. All right, so you guys, I'm just going to mince up the garlic. Again, if you're using a really sharp knife, you should have no problem let your knife do its job and mince it up. Mince, 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 mince. You can also use um, one of those garlic presses, but I love working with knives so much that it's just another excuse to practice some knife skills. <laughs> okay, mince it up. Now I can't wait to show you guys how simple this is. And it's so important because it's so good. I did sharpen all my knives over the weekend too, so they're super, super sharp. Okay, so on our saute plate is gonna go our minced garlic. Now, let's do the shallot. Last week, you guys, well, I don't remember what I made last week, but I used um, an onion. And I don't, I can tell at the end, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my eyes, my eyes are watering so much that my makeup was running and I was like this, the whole half of the show, the second half of the show, it was like, oh, oh my gosh, it was so horrible. I can't believe how bad that hurts your eyes. The, the smell, the onion, the onion, what's released from the onion. Okay, so I'm just giving it a little bit of a rough chop with the onion there. Well, I'm slicing it and then I'm just chopping it in half. Okay, woo! See? Oh, I can feel it in my eyes. Oof, okay. Oh, oh. There's the onion. Oh, okay, go away, go away. Look at that. Do you look fumes out of there? All right, now you got it. <laughs> um, I bought some shrimp yesterday. I like to keep a lot of shrimp. You just put it in the freezer and then 
You take out as much as you need and just soak it in some water and it thaws out pretty quickly. So yesterday I bought um, two pounds of the 5160. Now, remember you guys, the number, look, I took a picture for you guys. The number, see this on the bag, how it says Jumbo 2125? That means you're gonna get 21 to 25 shrimp per pound. So I bought, these are like 5160. Do you see this size? So there's gonna be a 51 to 61 um, shrimp in, per pound, all right? These have already been deveined, but, and they're, they're easy peel. <laughs> so you just pull the tail off and pull, take the skin off. Yeah. I hope everybody had an amazing weekend. I can't even remember what I did this weekend. I know. Huh. It's so weird. It just comes to me that sometimes. On Monday, I mean, today's Tuesday, but on Monday, it's like people, oh, here's the weekend. It's like, oh, that was yesterday. Oh, can't remember. I can't remember. Oh, you know what? I want to thank you guys, too. I want to thank you guys for subscribing to the Nom channel. I love it. I love it when I get these little notices that people have subscribed. Ooh. Oh, my little Asia Bell just woke up. Asia Bell is my little miniature schnauzer. She was asleep. <laughs> she is <laughs> now awake and coughing. Oh, did anybody watch the <laughs> watch the, the speech last night given by Melania Trump? <laughs> okay, we're not talking politics. Forget it. Forget it. I'm almost. Oh my God! It actually just came on. I have NBC. <laughs> it just came on. How random is that? Wow, that's. What you guys can do that. Nam is awesome. Thanks, Randy. Okay. Oh, almost done, you guys. I don't know if I necessarily need all these, but I figure we might as well go ahead and just get the tails and skin off on all of them. Yes. I love shrimp. Um, the reason I got this size for this is because it is going inside the crate, and the crate is super, super thin. So if I get, um, they're already, um, they're already deveined. I bought them deveined. But you guys, I don't, okay, there's been many times that I have cooked shrimp. A lot of people know I, I'll leave the tail, oh, yeah, I'll leave the tail and the skin on, especially when we're doing crunchy shrimp or salty shrimp, and we just eat the whole thing. Oh, I can't say we. I guess I should just talk about myself. Um, I eat the whole thing, and so, I have looked at, it's not, you're not going to die if you don't devein the shrimp. It just, it does make the shrimp look a little cleaner. Mm -hmm. All right. So, done with that. Whoa. And this is another reminder of why you buy shrimp. If you're going to use it like this, you buy it with the skin off. Man, that took a while. Okay, now, I want to just clean this up just a bit. We're going to go ahead and get... Oh, you guys, let me chop up, let me chop up the, um, let me go ahead and chop up the cucumbers real quick so that we're done, we're done with that. Okay. Oh, look, I can just tuck in my, yeah, white pants in the kitchen, that's always a good idea. Bam, tucking in my kitchen towel, my mop towel, I don't even know what you call that. All right, so let's go ahead and cut the cucumbers up. Just taking the ends off. You know, okay, here's another reason, you guys, why I love these little, um, 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 Persian cucumbers. Oh my God, I almost called these something else. But okay, anyways, Randy, you would have got a heyday. I was, I was almost just gonna call these. Anyways, these are Persian cucumbers, and I like them because it's like you can just wash a whole bunch of them up, keep them in the fridge, and look, they're a great snack. I mean, hello, it's just a little snack. You don't have to, you know what I mean? You can eat the whole thing, the skin and everything. Okay, so I'm just slicing these at an angle. It just looks prettier, right, right? 
See, now look at this, you guys. How, look at these fresh, fresh ingredients. Everything is just fresh, vegetables. Hello, healthy. You know the Indonesian cuisine is, is one of the healthiest foods. You know that. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite cuisines. Um, not because I was raised with Vietnamese cuisine. Okay. Now, now we're ready. We're finally ready. Woo! Okay. We're a veggie train ready to go. We have the mix ready to go. We have the stuff we're going to saute ready to go. Let me see. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. Woo! Okay. I'm gonna move this top. I'm gonna to get my white pants dirty. I just know it. All right, you guys, see that? Ooh. Now, what I tell you at the beginning, these are, um, they translate into sizzling cakes, and this is what. I mean, obviously, we're starting with a very hot pan, so anything that's gonna go into this pan is gonna sizzle. So, all right. One scoop. Thin layer, you guys. It doesn't work if it's too thick. Now, ready? Ready? Okay, you're gonna swivel it around like this until the batter does not move anymore. Let it sit. <coughs> but the, my nose is hurting from the onions. The what my eyes being watering. Um, you're gonna put the lid on and let the steam cook the top of it. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a picture real quick. Okay, this. Oh well, look. Here's the mixture. All right, with the with, out of the green onions, and then this is what our pan looks like right now. Well, no, it doesn't because we haven't added. Oh my gosh, you guys! I was supposed to add the ingredients first. Okay, cuckoo brain, cuckoo brain. Hold on, this is going to be a very plain one. Uh, let me get um, a plate to put these on. Hold on. Okay. Ugh. So out of order. So out of order. I'm going to take this off, you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and take it off. I don't want to waste the time. All right, let's do this again. Canola oil. Thank God the pan is hot. All right. <laughs> I know, right? No food goes to waste in this house. Let me tell you. First, you guys, you're going to... Put the canola oil in your pan, okay? And then we're going to add some onion, well, shallots. You're going to let them sizzle up. And then you're going to add a little bit of garlic. You do this per crepe. And then you're going to add some shrimp. All right. We're browning the garlic, browning up the onions, cooking the shrimp. The shrimp are going to turn a little bit... Um, Orange. Yeah, they're going to turn orange and they're going to go from being translucent to opaque, which means you can't see through them anymore. So let's let those. Oh, come on, little hot plate. Turn up a bit. We're going to let those um, cook for just a little bit because we do need the shrimp to cook. Shrimp cooks super fast, you guys. And of course, you don't want to overcook shrimp because it will turn like rubbery. It's, you know, it becomes rubbery and chewy. Opaque. Okay, that's the. <laughs> yes, Randy. Randy and his facts. Okay, so we're letting that just cook up a minute. Um, now, you guys, people, it's interesting because bun cell, it's like, even though it's from Vietnam, it's like everyone has their own way of eating it. Like, people in the South. We, we, my mom was from the South, so we always used coconut milk, where if you go to like this, the central part of Vietnam, they don't use turmeric powder. And then if you go to Hue, they roll their um, bun cell, no, they don't roll their bun cell, I'm sorry. Their bun cell is like, they leave it open-faced. Um, some people will roll it up in rice paper and then dip it. We roll it up in lettuce, so. Either way, besides the turmeric powder, you're getting the same um, the, for all the fresh vegetables and then the rice flour, wheat flour mix. Okay, so look, you guys, 
We've sauteed up some veggies, the onions, the garlic, and the shrimp. Now I'm going to add in my one scoop of my batter. I'm going to like not talk so you can hear the sizzle. <laughs> oh, that one isn't very exciting. Okay, again, roll it around until the um, flour does not roll around no more. Yeah. All right. Then you're going to put a lid on it. And you're going to let the steam do its job. Okay. Maybe I have time for one. And I'll make the rest of these after. And then I'm going to take that picture. So now, you guys, this is what it looks like now. Let's go back to that picture. Yay. So this is our mix. Now, remember, you put the onions, um, the shallots, um, the shallots and the garlic and the shrimp. Oh, but you guys, you can also use pork belly. Um, I was just trying to do these without any meat. But the traditional meat you would use for this particular dish would be pork belly. And uh, yeah, you would just add it to uh, the shrimp, the garlic, and the shallots. All right? Let me get another serving plate. Oh, and you know what, you guys, I was watching, um, I was watching last week. Did you know I had a glass of wine sitting right in front of me the whole time and I didn't even take a drink? I was like, how'd that happen? I like specifically put it there so I could sip on wine. Whatever. I can't believe I just left it there. Oh well. Mm -hmm. You guys, when you're doing this on your stove, it's going to cook a lot faster. But because I am using a hot plate, the surface is like this, and my pan surface is like this. So it takes a little bit longer um, to heat up the whole pan. You know, Randy, this probably would have been a good idea to use a wok since the bottom of the wok is the same surface size as, ew. Those are, I'm trying to do a circle. This is, okay, that's not working. Anyways, the surface size is the same surface size as the um, hot plate. Okay, come on, come on. I at least want to do one of these for you guys so you can see. Oh, I want to get this one out of here. Mm. Okay, so you guys, the sauce, the traditional sauce um, that we use is called um, Nuk Mum Chum. And it is, I love putting it in these little mason jars or these just little jars, because when I'm right, look, I don't even have to put a spoon inside to mix up all the delicious ingredients. Look at this. It's lemon, fresh squeezed lemon juice. It's garlic. It's sugar. It's chili garlic, pop sauce, mm, and fish sauce. Ugh, it's delicious. Anyways, this is the traditional dip. It's just, it smells so good. This is the traditional dip we use for egg rolls. We use um, chai yang or spring rolls. Um, oh my gosh, so it's a great over just over rice and it's over noodles, everything. It's our um, yes, nut mam cham. It's a very good Randy. Randy, you guys, is he's white, but I think he's Asian on the inside. Like no joke. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed, <laughs> but I did not put any salt and pepper on the bun cell. Traditionally, you don't, I don't even think it would taste good with any, even just a little hint of pepper is going to take away from the, it's just, it just doesn't taste the same. And pepper would definitely scent out. And you don't really need salt, um, especially since you're using the nook chum. And the fish sauce, there's a lot of sodium in the fish sauce, so you're not going to miss the uh, salt or the pepper, for that matter. All right. Well, let's just do this. <gasps> Look. I think, oh, my God, it smells so good. You guys, the coconut. It just smells so good. Mm. All right. While it's still in the pan, you are going to add a little bit of bean sprouts, okay? Just to one side. And we're going to flip this over. We're not turning the whole thing over. I'm just flipping it over. Oh, I wish you guys could. 
Look at how beautiful this is. I'm going to put it really close, okay? Oh, there. Perfect. Yay. Okay. So you see how the edges, they're nice and crispy. And that is the wheat flour. Look. Oh. Okay. <gasps> okay, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It actually turned out. So I'm only going to make one, and it actually turned out. Yay. Thank you, baby Jesus. <sighs> Okay, you guys, now I'm going to just, okay, please do not mess up. Please don't mess up. Oh, beauty, beauty. Look, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's crispy. All the yummy goodness is on the inside. Yep, yep. Now, this is what you do, you guys. Oh, wait a minute. It was hot. I'm going to go ahead and put another one on here. Since it's going to take a while to cook anyway, garlic, some onions, and some shrimps. Mm. I love seafood. I love shrimp. I love crab. I love lobster. You know what I don't love? Crawdads. Because they're so small, I feel like I'm eating a little thing. It's like, for some reason, that just makes me sad. I don't know why. Okay, now this is where it gets fun because you take the lettuce. You use okay. You just gonna put the lettuce on the side, like when, ooh, when people when you're getting ready to eat this, you're gonna take the lettuce and we're gonna cut it. I'm not cutting this right now, you guys, because I have got to take a picture of this so I can post it for you guys. But um, you're gonna um take your lettuce and it's gonna act like your plate, and then we're gonna slice it up and you're gonna put it inside. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Wait. But here, look, do I have a picture? Do I have a picture? Oh, look, you guys, look, look, look. In Vietnam, this is considered like a street food. Oh, look, Randy, there's the woks. Except those aren't really woks. They're actually, they're they're much shallower. Um, but in Vietnam, you're gonna go by, yes, right? In Vietnam, you're gonna go by um, vendors like that. And, it, this is a finger food. This is considered a finger food. So you're going to get like a plate of this stuff. It's going to look like you're just going to get a plate, like stuff like this. With all the fresh veggies, the mint, the cilantro, mint, cilantro, cucumbers, your lettuce, extra bean sprouts. Okay? So your plate is going to come just like this. And then you are going to, and then of course a little bit of sauce. Oh, that's why I have this one. Okay. And then you... So that let's pour in some sauce. Yeah, that's like red gold. Gold. Vietnamese gold. Vietnamese red gold. Whatever. All right. And then you're going to just take, this is, I do like using rice paper too, you guys. Just because I can roll everything up in it and nothing really falls out. Where this way, it does get, it's a little bit messy. But you're just going to take your um, rice paper, make a good base like this. You're going to lay in your bean sprouts. You're going to lay in your veggies, <laughs> your cucumbers, and then this. Okay, so you cut it up like this. Let me get my sticks. And. Whoa! Battery died, but you're back. Yay! Lisa, you have to start taking your little brick with you. Ugh! Okay, so then you take your bun cell mixture just like this. Let's tell you guys, it gets a little, it gets a little messy. Okay, and then you, you're rolling it, okay? You're gonna roll it, make a little, oh, oh, like a lettuce cup, you guys, like a lettuce cup. Okay, like this. Yeah. And then you're gonna do, <laughs> here we go, I'm going in. You're gonna dip it like this. Obviously, you don't share your dip. Everyone has their own little dip because, like, this is double dipping. Gross. And you're going to take it out. Mmm. Oh, my God. Oh, Lisa. These are vegetarian. There's no meat. Mmm. Yum, yum. You guys, I don't know why rice flour tastes so good, but it tastes so good. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, goodness. No, I'm going to tell you guys, 
If you want to make things um, a little bit easier, you put it in a bowl, slice up your lettuce in the bowl, and then you can layer with little cucumbers. So you can layer with bean sprouts, and then you can take your kitchen shears, chop this up, lay on top, and then drizzle the um, the Vietnamese gold. <laughs> drizzle Vietnamese gold on top and eat it with your chopsticks. You look better than Paris Hilton. <laughs> Right? This is okay. The next part of the non-cast is where we actually eat and no, I'm just joking. Um, okay, you guys. So I just want to say thank you <laughs> for watching today's non-cast. We made fun stuff. Um I want to oh. sizzle. You're going for the sizzle. Now just a little disclaimer, anything you put into a hot pan, it's probably gonna sizzle. All right. Good. Look, I have another one ready to go. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today and spending some time with me in my kitchen. Please make sure to subscribe. <laughs> I love it. I love it when it just like boom, boom, boom. The emojis float up, fly, float up. You know, you know what I mean. Um, how many, what, which different ones are there? Is there like an LOL? There should be a. Yum. Oh, I think there's a yum one. Yum, 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 or something like that. But um. Make sure you guys subscribe, and if you subscribe, you get notifications each week uh, when the non-shows are. So next week at 11:30. Um, oh, so Jim Bean Apple Bourbon um, sent me a case of their bourbon um, for the non-show, and so I'm gonna whip up two things. One is gonna be a drink, and the second one is gonna—I I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna—I don't know if I'm gonna make a dessert or if I'm going to make something with meat. That uses the Jim Bur Jim Bean Apple Bourbon Whiskey. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm done. I'm done. Now I'm just gonna keep on rambling. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have an amazing rest of your week. Eat yummy, yummy food. Drink lots of wine, and I will see you guys back here next Tuesday at 11:30. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Lisa, and everyone else that was watching. Have an amazing day. Mwah. Bye bye.